In this video, I'm going to show you how to manage your accounts in Clash Caddy. To add an account, click the button with two dots and click the add button. Type in the name of your account and hit save. To adjust the level of the clubs in your account, simply scroll to the club, hit the plus button or the minus button. If you have an account with maxed clubs, simply hit the max all and that will max all of the clubs. Once you've finished adjusting all the club levels, simply hit save. If you wish to duplicate the account, make sure that account is selected, hit duplicate, type in the name of the new account, and hit save. That will then create another account with the exact same club levels. To delete an account, tap the button, hit delete. Open the Clash Caddy overlay, hit the open button under the overlay control section. As you can see, the overlay opens up on the left hand side to the ring overlay view. Tap the ring overlay view to open the input view. From the input view, you can click the top left button to select the account you wish to play with. From there, you will see nine squares that contain all of your clubs. To select a club, simply tap the club for it to be highlighted. Enter in your win value. Select your Powerball and your win values will be shown on the left. To input elevation, use either the plus 10, plus 5, minus 5, minus 10, or if you wish to reset the elevation back to zero, simply hold any of the elevation buttons and it will reset back to zero. To adjust mid, simply use the slider on the left, which is fluid and easily adjustable. And if you wish to reset it, simply tap the RM button. Any of these nine squares can be adjusted to suit any club type. If you wish to change a club type, double tap on any square, select a club type and that square will be changed. If you wish to change the club in the square, long press and select the club. You can have any combination of clubs in these nine squares. The CW button will clear just the wind and CA will clear everything except for your Powerball and club. To close the input area, simply tap the ring overlay and if you wish to change the view of the ring overlay, you can swipe down or up to change the view. To move the ring overlay, long press until it goes red, and then drag up or down or across to the other side. When you're happy with the position, long press again for it to change blue and it will lock that position. To close the overlay, hold down on the account button and it will close. There are many settings in the Clash Caddy app to allow you to customize the application to your liking. We have ring overlay opacity and input overlay opacity. Both of these are independent of each other. So if you wish to set the ring overlay opacity and leave the input full, you can do so. So when you open, you'll see that the opacity of each is different. If you want to adjust the input overlay and have the ring overlay solid, simply make the change, hit close, reopen the overlay, and the values will be changed. The input overlay also has some other options. You have mid slider 150%. If we turn that on, you'll be allowed to go up to 150% on the slider instead of the usual 100. The alignment option is the alignment of the input area to the ring overlay. So as you can see, it sets a middle and they're lined up in the middle. If we change it to top, they'll be aligned at the top. If we change it to bottom, it will be aligned at the bottom. You also have the alignment offset, which will allow you to offset from the currently selected alignment option. If we scroll to the left, it will shift the view up. And if we scroll to the right, it will shift the view down. Putting it back to zero in the middle, we'll then put the alignment back to normal. You also have ring overlay two decimal places, slider rings, show club, and powerball. These options are pretty self-explanatory. Two decimal places will give you your ring values to two decimal places. 
and the slider rings will give you the slider rings independent of mid. So for example, if we make the mid of the slider adjustment to 84%, it will give you 6.22 rings for the 84% mid, but it will still also show you the 5.46 value for the true mid. Show club shows you the club, the currently selected club in the ring overlay section. And then the show power ball will show you the currently selected power ball. These options can be changed to have whatever you want. If you go down to a different view, when you open up to input your wind, it will always open up to this view. And then when you close back down, it will go to the previously selected view. Setting up the included basic grids in Clash Caddy is extremely easy. Simply open the overlay, load a screenshot of Golf Clash, long press the grid icon up the top, and you'll be presented with this overlay. You have a drop down for horizontal or vertical line. So select horizontal or vertical, hit the add grid line button, and it will place a vertical line in the center of your screen. You can adjust the length of this line by using the bottom slider. You can move the line left and right using the middle slider. And you can move it up and down using the top slider. If you wish to add another line, repeat the process. Hit add grid line. It will add a horizontal line in the middle. The red line that is highlighted is the one that will be affected by the controls. You can add up to five lines. Once you're happy with your grid lines, simply hit the save button, open up the overlay, single tap the grid icon, and it will add your grids to the screen. To close the grids, tap the grid icon again. By default, when turning the grid lines on and off from the input overlay, Clash Caddy will turn on the basic grids. You are limited to five lines, in this mode if you wish to have more lines or have diagonal lines you need to purchase the advanced grid feature once you've purchased the advanced grid feature simply open the main app go to the advanced grid section click the action button click add name your grid group you can set the line width the color using a six digit hex code, and then you can put in your line offsets. The line offsets are done in pixels. The top left hand corner of your screen is 00, 0x, 0y, and the bottom right hand corner is your maximum resolution. Say your screen resolution is 1080 wide by 2080 tall, then the bottom right hand corner would be 1080 by 2080. Simply enter the start X, start Y position of your line. So say 200 X comma 200 Y. And then we want the line to end at 200 X and 500 Y. That will create us a vertical line starting from 200 pixels in from the left, 200 pixels down from the top and end 200 pixels in from the left and 500 pixels in from the top. So if we hit save, go and turn on advanced grids, open the overlay, tap the grid icon, you can see the vertical line. You can add multiple lines into each grid group by separating it with the pipe symbol. You can then add in another line, say 400x, 200Y, 400X, 500Y should give us another vertical line in the same position, 200 pixels to the right of the previous. Hit update, open the input overlay, tap the grid icon, and you can see we have another vertical line. You can put as many in here as you like. 
To delete a grid group, simply swipe left and hit yes. You can also import and export. So let's enter in a line, 200, 200, 500, oh. 200, 500, hit save. And as you can see, we get our vertical line again. If we go here, export, it will copy the configuration for any grid group you have in here into your clipboard. You can then go and paste that and send it to a friend. Or if you copy a grid configuration from a friend, you can simply hit import once it's in your clipboard and it will import that grid configuration. As you can see, we have our line back.